Hello friends. Welcome to my new JPA, Hibernate Programming Tutorial Series video. In this tutorial, we will discuss about, how to persist Java collections into database, by at the rate element collection annotation, in Hibernate using JPA. Let's move ahead. Friends. Persistence.xml file used in this example must have following properties, as mentioned in the slide. Friends, you can watch my complete video on persistence.xml, in this tutorial we can skip explaining the persistence.xml. Only property to mention is hibernate.hbm2ddl.auto, having value as create. This property signifies that, whenever we run application, it should delete previous schema and table, and create new table based on the persist method call. Moving ahead. Let's discuss Java collections persistence through at the rate element collection annotation. In this tutorial, let's create a college entity. It has college ID as primary key and a property as college name. Moving ahead. Point number one, let's create a set, which represent a collection in Java. This set holds, set of students in the college. In order to persist a collection in JPA, we have to provide at the rate element collection annotation, over the set of students. This annotation tells Hibernate, set of students has to be persisted as a collection in database. This set property has at the rate collection table annotation also. It takes in a name, whose value corresponds to a separate table, other than college, where set of students is persisted. Moving ahead. Let's create test class to persist Java collections into database. Let's discuss the code point by point. Number 1, create a college instance. Set college name to MIT. Set two students in the set of students property as, John Smith and, Daniel Smith. Moving ahead. Number 2, let's call persist method of entity manager to persist college instance. This will create a table college, and through at the rate element collection annotation, it will create set of students table, to hold set of students in the college. Friends, for rest of code working in this slide you can refer my previous tutorials on JPA. Moving ahead. Let's check database for table college, and set of students and run a select query on it, as shown in figure. The image in slide displays the single row for college entity, having college ID and college name columns into it. The set of students has college underscore college ID as a foreign key, this will map to college ID in the college table, and students column, which will hold values of set of students. Moving ahead. So friends, this was the tutorial on how to persist Java collections into database, by at the rate element collection annotation, in hibernate using JPA. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, at the rate element collection concept in JPA gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hoverspot.com.